Hello there, I'm Danny Williams, Managing Director of Channel Grammar. Today I'm going to show you through the, the new things that we've added this week. This was originally going to be a webinar, but unfortunately we had some extremely bad internet problems, which meant that I had to record it on my PC and then upload it. So apologies to those that showed up, but hopefully you can watch this and it will give you all the information that you need. I'm not going to spend too long on this because uh, luckily no one's going to ask me any questions, which is pretty good. Um, I'm just going to jump straight into showing you through all the, the new things. So on the orders page, it's mostly revolving around orders this week, I'll be honest with you. So uh, if we go to the orders page here, and you can see I've created a, a few already uh, today just to mess about with. And one of the things that you can actually do on here now is you can filter out multi-line orders so ones with different items on them so you know if they're in different parts of your warehouse you might find it more efficient to do those first or you know however you want to do it now this started off being something that we were doing for another customer of ours but unfortunately i misunderstood what they meant and uh, and it was actually something else they were after however after explaining to them the reasons that i thought they might want it this way they actually did say that it might be of use to them so hopefully it's of use to other people as well so what you do is you come onto here and you go on to, uh, you press the more button so you see the advanced uh, filter options. And then here where it says multi-line orders, just try uh, pressing uh, to only show these for example, and then click on the filter. So by doing that you can see it now just shows me that one particular order that's now got multiple items on it. And if I do it you know, inversely then um, de-exclude here and then filter it, again it will show me just the ones that exclude multi-line orders. So this means that when you're, you're doing your dispatching every day, you could just go, right, show me all my, my new orders that have only got one item on them. And it's all about filtering down to as much as possible. And that, that's the first thing. So the second thing that we've also done is that you can bulk uh, print out invoices by SKU now. So if I clear my filter and uh, get rid of that one as well, Okay, I select these three orders, and then if I go to uh, go to print these off, so print invoices. Oops, I select them. I want print invoices by SKU, and then click go. It will uh, it will pop up. It comes up on my other screen. Apologies. So it'll come up here with all of my orders now printed out. But it, it, if you've got SKU sort of set for these, unfortunately I don't on here, then it would actually just um, print them out in the in the order of them. So it means that for people that have got their warehouse set up for, you know, ILA, B, C, D, uh, A1, A2, A3, A4, it means it's going to print out an order now. So you can, you know, it makes it a lot quicker when you're actually dealing with things. Okay, uh, so that's the kind of printing out by SKUs. What you can also do as well is uh, is now we can do returns. Okay, now so one of these items here, if I select uh, if I select this order here, for example, is Bruno. Oh, actually, I'll go for a dispatch one. No, I won't because I've already selected this one now. So I might as well just stick with this. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've got this order here now. Say this has been dispatched, for example, I'll just mark it as dispatched. This is now a dispatched order. Now they, they've called in, they said, right, okay, well actually there's something wrong with this particular item. So that's okay, what you can do is you come on here and it says um, create RMA order. So by clicking on here, it will load up the details of the, the previous person that ordered it. So it'll give you the order ID, it will tell you what, what the channel was that it was ordered from, and it will give you all the sort of buyer information and delivery information and such. Now the top part of this you can't actually edit because this, this will always remain the same. The person that bought it will, will never change. Where it might change is you might want to actually send it off to a different place. So you can actually change the delivery details here for example. Now down here is when it starts you know, becoming a bit more interesting because what we do straight away is all the items are zeroed out. Okay, Because if you, you're creating a, a return order then it's going to be you, know, you don't charge your customers for them. So well normally so it's going to just put it as zero and it's going to tell you how much was originally paid now this allows you to add in a price if you wanted to or you could leave it you know for free so if i add in five there that updates obviously and now i need to take payment for, for five pounds but i'll leave it as zero because that, that's what's more normal what you might also want to do is say for example you wanted to send a free gift as well or you know if they wanted to add more to their order you, you can do that here as well so you can add in a row here um, and then you can sort of search for that item and you can also remove items as well so if you've got too many sort of 
uh, items on there and in fact you only want to send out one particular one you can also change it in any way you like so it's kind of duplicating an order but you know changing certain things about it now then the normal thing you do is you've got all of these and you just want to add in like sort of what a note is of why the return was so uh, let's just call this return because broken okay so you've added in all this uh, information then you just confirm this order here and it'll open it up for you to, to just uh, double check it anyway but if you're happy with that you can just close it down and what's going to happen is it's going to create this RMA order now that's going to be treated in exactly the same way as all your other orders are so it comes up with new and what it also does is your previous order which uh, which had been dispatched but is now an RMA it, it puts that as a status so RMA as the status and by clicking on this this is actually a link it will open up the RMA order that, that you've actually created so it could obviously be quite old and also the, the note that you wrote down as to the reason why it says here if I mouse over it return because broken and that's it really they're, they're the three sort of new things that have been added this week there's been a few other things that we've been working on but they're the, they're the three main things what I wanted to do is uh, show you the Amazon overhaul again because there were you know there were a few bugs last time you know we were all about sort of previewing it and showing you what we've got now obviously we want to sort of show you how to use it a bit better so I'm just going to go over to the Amazon overhaul now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variation product because that's where the sort of main benefit of the Amazon overhaul lies so straight away I'm just going to give this uh, an SKU of web and the product name of polo shirt only because I'm wearing a polo shirt right now I don't know why if I was wearing like a shirt I probably would have just wrote that okay so uh, here's just your normal product information you'd fill that out as usual I'm not going to bother with that because I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs what I am going to show you is just if you create uh, the variations for that particular product here uh, I'll add in sort of a, a color and size for this so add in my color add in my size and then I'm going to start adding in some, some products here so web 01 quantity 1 color black size medium and then web 02 1 black large okay so now I've created uh, my variation products now so it's these are my my quantities these are all set up and what I now need to do is create an Amazon listing that uses these variations okay so I'll go on to the listings and in here I'll just create so I select Amazon from the drop down menu here and then just select uh, I'll just select one of my Amazon accounts and then just add that one in okay so now I've created this uh, this listing as it were of just a shell if I go into this um, there, are, there are three ways to create a product obviously if you know the ASIN off by heart or you can search for the product or you can create a new product so obviously I don't know the ASIN off by heart if anyone does that's a little bit weird to be honest perhaps they've looked it up though but if it's off the top of their head then they probably should seek medical help okay so if I need to search for the product I can search for it here now as part of the Amazon overhaul you can actually use a barcode uh, scanner for this unfortunately I don't have mine plugged in right now um, but I should be able to just type in one something that's just sitting on my desk let's have a look see if this one works No, it, 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 I don't have anything on my desk that actually has a an, an, an ASIN, um, sorry, an ISBN or a EAN or UPC or, or any of those. But you can just search for them now. Uh, and I did show that previously in another one. So just type in any, any sort of EAN, it will come up with the product for you to then list to it. What I'm more interested in showing you right now is creation of new products with the variations because that's what most of our customers have been looking forward to. So on here, then you just enter in all the standard information. So polo shirt. Um, you, you type in whatever the EAN is you know, and then I'll just select clothing from here enter in a manufacturer a brand and a part number as needed if you need additional uh, bullet points obviously you can add those in here 
and then you can go onto the item specifics page and you can enter in any sort of things that you need here obviously you don't want to do size because we're going to use that somewhere else you've got color but you know if you have anything else so you know you select shirt uh, if you want to put in some style keywords and so forth you enter all that in here into the item specifics now it does have everything here that amazon sends to us uh, we're going to work on sort of trying to whittle it down a bit to make it a bit easier for you but all the options are there anyway uh, and again the description you, know, you just enter in whatever you want the description to be and then moving on to the thing that probably most people want me to show right now is actually the creation of variation products so I've got the um, web 01 and web 02 SKUs which I've created earlier but now I need to select variation theme now I know that I have size and color because that's what I set up originally if I select this what will happen now is it will load up the size and color onto this variation pane over here and then I need to select uh, what I want to use now I can enter them all individually if I like if I just uh, unlock it I can start writing in the size and color uh, separately however that's that's not very good what I want to do is I actually want to use my quick load for my size and my color variations now because they use different formatting and people may want to use different things uh, you know we allowed people to just select which one they want to, to, to map to that particular one especially considering for example on Amazon they call it color without a U um, obviously they learn how to spell color out in the states and not in the right place which is obviously Britain so um, over here we use it with a, with a U so obviously that's why you need the map in there I'm just going to select size in here which will preload those and then I'll select color over there and that will load in my black now that's if I use the size and color now both of these are black so technically I don't really need that color as my variation theme I might just want to use size in which case I can just select size up here uh, and then it will shrink back down to just show me the size which has been mapped and then this will create the product all I need to do now is just select all of my variations because I want to list them all and then also add in the prices for the particular variation that I want And that's that's ready to go I mean I don't need an EAN an image for the particular category that I'm trying to, to list in right now obviously if you do then you'd have to enter them and what this will do is this will create all the individual products that you normally had to create yourself on Amazon but using the general information from the whole product so all I would do then is I'll just double check see if there's anything in MISC that I wanted to use any of the search terms uh, images if I've got any uploaded and then all I'd have to do is submit this I'm not going to be able to submit this on this because it's not connected to an actual account but that's that's all you need to do and then that that listings actually ready to be created so it will create a listing that has all of the variations on it as well and that's pretty much everything I mean that covers everything that most people wanted us to to show you in regards to creating variation products on Amazon and it also shows a few of the new things that we've been working on I'm going to leave it here and just uh, see you guys all next week, hopefully have a better internet connection and hopefully after you've all had plenty of time to either uh, suntan or learn to swim because the weather up there does not look that good. Okay, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.